Alright, my name is Eric and today I'm going to be making a video tutorial on something that I should have made a long time ago. Um, I get questions every day asking what is this thing on my desktop here where all my icons are and when I move my mouse over it it's all cool like this. Okay, so this uh, program, it's yeah it's a program, it runs on your desktop. Uh, my program that I use is called Rocket Dock and what you do is you can put all your um, programs and icons and everything onto this dock and it's kinda like a Mac if you've ever used one how they have a dock at the bottom and you move your mouse over and it kinda hovers like this and when you open up a program or something it just opens like that so it's really good because most people have all their icons just like here I'll do it like this send to desktop most people have their icons all over here just on the desktop and it gets kinda unorganized so I don't like to uh, have them on the desktop, I just like to have them on the dock. And the reason I like that is because it's just cleaner, more organized, and also you get to see your entire uh, background image that way. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to show you how to use this program, where to get it, and how to use it. So, um, first you're going to go to your web browser, and go to Google or whatever search engine you use and type Rocket Dock, and then go to the website. And it says Rocket Dock. What is it? Rocket Dock is a smoothly animated alpha blended application launcher. It provides a nice clean interface to drop shortcuts on for easy access and organization. Blah, 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 blah. So, what you do, go here to download and then hit download Rocket Dock. Here's the requirements. You need Windows 2000, XP, Vista, or 7. Then all the requirements are right here. So, you just hit download and you would hit save and just save it to your desktop. And then once it's done downloading it'll be on your desktop just double click on it and then as soon as you double click on it it'll appear on the desktop it'll look different than mine but it'll be here and then once you have your dock up you can just uh, start you know fixing it around to fit your preferences so to fix it around and change everything you right click on it and then you can go to dock settings and here's all the settings right here but first thing I'm going to show you is how to position it around your screen so just right click on it go to screen position and if you want to replicate like a MacBook you can have it on the bottom. I don't put it on the bottom because then this gets in the way. Even though you can move this, if I wait, you unlock the taskbar, then you can move it. So you could have it like this if you want, but I don't really like that. So yeah, you can move it wherever you want. Uh, some people put it on the left. I kind of like that, or you put it on the right, but it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I put it on the top. Okay, so now let's go to the settings, and let's just go to general language. Um, it doesn't really matter whatever country you're from just use it. I just use English because I speak English. Now the most important thing here is you want to have this checked. Run at startup. Make sure that this is checked. If this is unchecked then that means every time you open up Windows you're gonna have to run the program manually and then edit it all over again. If you have run at startup checked that means when you start up Windows uh, the dock will already be there and you don't need to change anything. You can just start using your computer normally. So make sure run at startup is checked. Uh, I don't have any of these other ones checked. You can see what they do. I don't really know. I haven't really fooled around with them. So I just leave this one checked and all the other ones unchecked. Then I go to icons and then depending on like how good your computer is, you might want to change uh, quality to low. Now it'll reduce the quality of the icons, but um, it'll make them run a lot smoother. I just keep them on high quality because my computer is fast enough for it, so I just keep it on high quality. And then opacity. This is how transparent your um, icons will be. If you put it at 100%, it'll be completely opaque, and if you put it at 50%, it'll be half transparent. I keep it at 95%. I don't know why. I just like it. And then zoom opaque. With this checked, it means that it'll be transparent when you're not zoomed in, but when you hover your mouse over it, it becomes completely opaque. It's kind of hard to notice here. Here, if I change it up a bit, I'll show you. I could have this to 50%, but zoom opaque on. See, it's transparent, but when I hover over it, it becomes opaque which is kinda cool but it's all up to you I just leave it at 95 percent and then zoom opaque off and then size uh... these are the icon sizes um... i put it at 43 depending on like your monitor and stuff you could change it like have it super big that's kinda cool actually But or you could have it really small if you have a lot of icons you need to fit on there you could have it super tiny uh... i don't really like that <laughs> So yeah, I just fool around with this. I keep it at 43. And then hover effect. Um, There's three different effects, or you could have none, which means when you hover over it, they don't change. You just see the names. But uh, I put it on bubble, so you get this. There's also flat, which is kind of cool. It kind of just does this. 
And then there's also Plateau, which as far as I know, there's no difference between Plateau and Bubble. Here's Plateau. And then here's Bubble. I don't see any difference whatsoever. There probably is a difference, but I don't know. I just keep it at Bubble. And then for Zoom, you want to zoom in. Like, when you hover over it, it zooms in a bit. I keep it at 53, which means it increases by 10 pixels in diameter. I could put it up to here so that when I hover over, it just gets giant. Or you could, like, make it shrink. Or I guess it doesn't shrink, but I don't know. I just keep it at 53. It's just uh, my preference. Ugh, okay. And then zoom width, it's the same thing, except in instead of it being, like, in general, it's just in the width specifically. I keep it at 3, but you could keep it here and then make it, like, a bit wider. See, it kind of does that. I just keep it at 3. Don't ask why. It's just what I like. Then zoom duration. This is how long the zoom takes place for. Mine's 165 milliseconds, but you can make it a bit longer, so it's like all slow motion. Yeah, I keep it at 165. All right. So this is how you uh, change the icon settings. I just keep them at high quality, 95%, zoom opaque, unchecked, 43, bubble, 53, 3, 165. Now let's go to the position, and this is the same thing. You can just position it to the top, bottom, left, or right, respectively. Then layering, always on bottom. Uh, what this means is if you have it at always on top, that means when I open up my web browser, the dock is still here. But if I have it at always on bottom, that means when I open this again, or I have to apply it. That means since it's at always on bottom, that means when I'm running a program or something, it'll just only be on the desktop. So if you have always on bottom checked or enabled, that means it'll only be on the desktop. Then this is the centering and edge offset. That means I could put it like over here if I wanted to. I just keep it at zero so it's perfectly centered. You can also use the arrow keys to get like more precise with this. And then edge offset. Uh oh yeah, this is like how far it is from the top of the monitor. I keep it at negative one usually, but let's see what zero looks like. Yeah, I keep it at negative one, so it's just a bit closer. Actually I might keep it at positive one. Yeah, I'll try positive one for a bit. So yeah, this is just the positioning. Not much to say about the style. This is where it gets cool. Now, there's a bunch of themes you can get. Um, the I've only downloaded a few themes. Um, most of these come with it. So Arrow Milk, I get this one. Or CrystalXP.net. You know, you can change the theme and, you know, use any one you want. I use the one called Mac OS X Leopard. And I believe that this one does not come with RockDoc and you have to download it. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But first, you can change the opacity and the fonts and stuff. This is kind of cool. You can change the font. Um, I use the Doom font, which I downloaded from Defont.com. I have a tutorial on downloading fonts, so you can look at that if you need help. So yeah, you can change the font. Go to Select Font, and then just change it. So you could get this one. But yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. And I, you can also make it bold or italicized and change the size. I just use Doom, Bold, and 11, and make it white. You can also change the shadow color and stuff. I don't even think I changed any of these settings. I'm pretty sure they're all the default. And then this is 55 and 25 for me. Yeah, and then about nothing really to do here. Something just made a sound. I think I got an email or something. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the fun stuff. Downloading themes and fonts. Well, I won't show you how to download fonts because I already have a tutorial on that. But I'll show you how to download themes and icons. So let's just go to get more here. And then it'll open up get skins and icons, docklets and stuff. I just get skins and icons. Now if you notice here, I have this uTorrent icon and it's not the actual icon. It's like a bit higher quality and stuff. So you can get custom icons. Like if I right click on uTorrent and go to icon settings, I can change it to one of these. Like this one. And you can do that for every one here. I can change this one to like this. See, so you have a custom blue Firefox. And then if you want to change it back, just go to default icon. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Now I'll show you how to download the icons. Go here, and then go to icons, and then you could just choose one. You'll have to search it up, probably. Um, like, I'll search Firefox. And then, I don't know, I'll just have to download a random one. I don't really want to download a whole pack. Here, I'll take this one. Special Firefox icon. So you click on it, and then you go to download. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Download file. I think all of them download from uh, deviantart.com. I'm not sure, though. So I just saved it to my desktop. Now I can exit this. And it comes in a zipped folder, so you need to extract it. 
Now what you do is you extract all files and then you browse. Go to your computer, your hard drive, and then you go to program files. Go for rocket doc if you can find it. Rocket doc, then go to icons. So extract it to your icons folder and hit OK and extract. If you use Vista, you're going to need to confirm you're an administrator. And then, yeah, it extracts to your icons folder. So you can exit both of these. And then I can change my Firefox icon to the new one I just downloaded, which should be here. There it is. And there you go. So that's how you download icons. It's the same thing for themes, except instead of extract extracting it to your icons folder, you extract it to the... Um, themes folder. So it's the same thing. I'm not going to show you just to waste time. So yeah, so to download themes and stuff, you just go to the website and download it and extract it to its respective folder. So if you want to download an icon, extract to the icons folder. If you want to download a skin, download to the skins or themes folder or whatever it is. And yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is recycle bins because there's a special thing you need to do for recycle bins. If you're changing the icon on your recycle bin, like it's kind of hard because you need to go to Rocket Dock here and Icon Settings. Like if I right click on this, it'll just say Icon Settings right there. But for Recycle Bin, you need to right click on it, then go to Rocket Dock, then Icon Settings. So I'm going to change it to the default icon. See, now I got this Recycle Bin. Now when you download icons for Recycle Bins, they will come with two icons. One of an empty Recycle Bin and then the other of a full one. So to do that, so this is what it looks like when it's empty. Now when you... I don't know if I can remember how to do this, but you need to use this bin full one too when it's full. So empty recycle bin here. It says empty recycle bin. This is what the picture will look like when it's empty. It's the empty picture. And when it's full, you're going to change it to this one. And then hit OK. So right now the recycle bin's empty. I'll just drag this into the recycle bin. And now it's full. And that's how you do that. Okay, so sorry that I waited way too long for this tutorial, but... um. Here it is. I hope it helps you, and I hope you have fun using Rocket Talk. It's a great program. And yeah, if you like this tutorial and found it useful, uh, if you could go ahead and like the video, that'd be great. I don't know why they got rid of the rating system. I guess now you like or dislike a video. I don't know, but if you could go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. Um, I'll try and come up with a new tutorial as soon as I can, but thanks for watching. See ya.